Speaking with Reggie Bullock, he is one of the finalists for the Muhammad Ali Humanitarian Sports Award, and this is a big, big moment for you, Reggie. Talk about your thought as we speak now and then going into the event. Um, I mean, obviously, as we're going through my head right now, is this obviously just being here, soaking in everything, being around great people, um, you know, continuing to just try to leave my legacy, leave a name uh, for things that I did off the court. Uh, yeah, everyone knows me as Reggie Bullock, the basketball player, but I also want them to know another side of me off the court and it's things that I believe in. It's been a tough road for me. Um, that Muhammad Ali is a great award. Uh, it's a very prestigious award, and you know, being nominated with three other great in individuals that done things in the community, um, I feel like I'm just scratching the surface of what my life can truly be and what I can really mean to a, a lot of people in this world. And it's going to start. Your driving motivation, your sister Mia, of course, is you're doing everything for her. Yes, sir. Uh, and she's with you as well in spirit, mm -hmm. as we yes, know. Sir. But she drives you every morning. Mm -hmm. Wake up and fight. Yep. Every day, my sister, uh, she drives me to wake up and fight, and, you know, it's a lot of things that, you know, that keep me reminded of her and, and the legacy uh, and the memories that I have of her that, that was once left with me, and I still have them. So that's my drive to be able to continue to keep pushing for things that she believe in to make an impact, make a change on the world. She still have friends left back home in North Carolina that may possibly be, still be struggling with some of the same things, but, you know, I'm just using my platform, using what she believed in, using what she believed in as living your life and living it to your true meaning and that's what she believed in and yes as a family member something i believe and in. she has to be leading you on to those communities that are in, in dire need of help right right exactly and those are you know if it's from african-american transgender women that's being murdered within the country um if it's from you know incarceration in jail uh, it's, it's so many different things off the court that i'm tapping my foot into and just trying to just leave a name outside of basketball when it's when they air glided at basketball, I still got to have a name, and I want to be impactful on people's life for people to continue to know me. So I think I'm going in the right direction. And that will be the Vera Justice Foundation, something, the name yeah. that you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be something for, uh, for Maya, but, I mean, it's, we're moving in the right, the right direction for things that we want to do. We wish you the best. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. All right.